hallelujah good morning everyone good morning good morning this is the day the lord has made we will be rejoiced and be glad in it in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the name of jesus i see yeah it's dark or it's good hallelujah this way i think it's uh yeah i think the right yes all is so bright hallelujah thank you jesus yeah god is good that this is better hallelujah praise be the name of jesus good morning once again uh this is reverend christine Zigu. welcome you in the name of jesus christ uh today the topic i have is uh, he who is is in you is greater than who is in the world and i'm going to read from you from the book of revelation 12 first evasion 6 verse 12 let's pray our father in heaven we thank you we give you all the glory we give you all the honor wonderful father we love you wonderful father we are honor you wonderful father we adore you wonderful father we acknowledge your name we give you all the glory we give you all the honor thank you heavenly father hallelujah thank you jesus thank you lord Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Ephesians 6, verse 12, the Bible says, For we whistle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That is the Bible. The Bible says we are not around. We are not. We don't fight with blood and flesh. We don't use blood and flesh. We don't fight physically, but we fight. Uh, we, we fight against the principalities and power and against the rulers of darkness of this world. Because who is in you is greater than who is in the world. Don't go to fight people physically. Don't use your mouth cursing people. Fight in a spiritual way. Fight the principality's power against the rulers of darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Fight against the spiritual the spiritual wickedness uh, in in the high, in the high in the heaven in the high in in the, in the high places. There are spiritual wicked in the high places. They are walking in the second heaven, very highly places. These demons, when they are walking there, they will destroy people. They will do whatever they want. So as people of God, we don't have to fight them. We don't have to fight them using flesh and blood. We don't have to fight them using physical because we can't, we can't, we can't defeat them. If we use our physical, we show them how much money we have, how much we, we are smart. We, we can't fit them. We go in the spiritual world because this is spiritual warfare. We are dealing with the spiritual welfare. So wherever you go with the physical, you can't defeat it. Now we go with, with, the, with the spiritual because it, the, the, it is a spirit. So since it's a spirit and has we go in the spirit land. Now that's why Jeremiah 10, first, Jeremiah 1 verse 10 has given us insight. Instead, it says the, the the book says see the bible says jeremiah 1 verse 10 has given us power the bible says see i have i have this day set thee over nations and over kingdom over king kingdoms to uh, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to be and to and to plant. You see here the Bible says, "See, I have given. I uh, see, I have this day. See, I have this day. Set thee over nation. The Lord has set you, has set me over nation and over kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down." To build and to plant so the lord has given us nation to rule and take dominion yes he has given us kingdom because remember john first john 4 verse 4 
it says he who is in you is greater than you is in the world that's why we have been given power and authority to rule in the world in a spiritual realm if there's demons ruling somewhere in a highly places we go there with in the highly in the in the realm of the holy spirit in the realm of the spirit and we bring them down we 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 root them we have root every plant everything that the devil has planted into your life wherever they have done anything we go to uproot it we go we take from the roots so when you go like that we bring him down because he's in the high in 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 the, in the second highly places in the second way in the second heavens so when we go and we are rooting through atomic bomb prayer we go with the prayers i'm going to pray with you we go there with prayers like this we pray like this i take authority and the dominion over every principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness over over of this world so you go and tell the devil because god has given you power dominion over nations and all the kingdom so you go there with the confidence with the authority and the power that jesus christ has given you that remember he who is in you is greater than who is in the world now when goliath was cursing the children of israel and and for 40 years nobody they feared him they could not reach him when he comes every day in the morning everybody was running away backward now there's a man a boy called david david when he look at goliath he said you 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 and circumcises you you will not today i will chop your head today i will cut your head so now when you see the situation you go and take dominion and authority and power i take authority you tell the devil i take authority against you i take authority and dominion against you i take authority and dominion against you today and and over every principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world so now you take authority against the powers and rulers of this world hallelujah praise the name of jesus now you when you take the authority you you know the uh, the, the, the 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 book of evasion 12 it is saying clearly that we are not we we for we are we we still not against flesh and blood we are not allowed to take to fight against blood and flesh so you take dominion you take dominion i take dominion against you against you powers of principalities and rulers of darkness of this world and the spiritual wickedness in the highly places in the name of jesus now you take the authority when you take the authority it is very difficult for the enemy to defeat you then then you pray my god has set me far above all evil nations and the satanic kingdom therefore every kingdom of darkness ruling over my life i pull you down that's how you pray you know jeremiah 10 jeremiah 1 verse 10 it says this day i i said thee over nation and over kingdoms and to rule out wherever kingdom of the darkness and the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of evil and the kingdom of satanic kingdom you take authority over them you say my god has set me far above all evil nation satanic kingdoms therefore every kingdom of darkness ruling over my life i pull you down and i command you to be destroyed in the name of jesus you destroy every kingdom of the of the of the, of the, of, the, of, the, of darkness you destroy every king every wicked kingdom every evil kingdom every work of the devil you destroy them because they have worked up and you command it the day you take authority against what they have planted the whole night and now you take in charge of it you ask the holy spirit holy ghost decamp my enemies confront my confronters confuse my confusers waste my wasters bind my binders uproot my uprooters destroy my destroyers wake up my wickers remote my remoters terminate my terminators and set my free in the name of jesus and set me in the name of jesus 
you take the authority you command them you destroy them in the name of jesus christ you ask the holy spirit to decamp my enemies the holy spirit decamp my enemies confront them con confuse them question them bind them i have rooted them in the name of jesus you pray like that and then you see this is prayer bomb atomic bomb that who is in you is greater than who is in the world since my enemies are stubborn pursuers oh lord turn their joy into sadness their prosperity to poverty their joy to sadness their prosperity to poverty their glory to shame their right to darkness and their peace to fear in the name of jesus because the enemy is so so bad he has refused to let you go he's pursuing you he's, he's following you he doesn't want to, you to have the, the peace so you come against you you say since my enemies are since my enemies are, are stubborn oh lord turn their joys you have to turn the joys of your enemies to sadness make your enemies to be sad not you to be sad not you to be glad make your enemy to be miserable command thunder command the command the holy ghost fire to visit them make the, make their prosperity to turn to poverty command their prosperity to turn to poverty let them suffer not you be suffering all the time not you not them to take your prosperity and they are enjoying and you you are suffering take their prosperity to to poverty turn their prosperity to poverty their glory to shame their glory what they are glorifying let them turn to shame in the name of jesus this morning i turn the glory of my enemies to shame wherever they are proud of let it turn to be shame in the name of jesus christ they are right to be darkness and they are peace to be fear what they are right they are right they are bright let it turn to be darkness in the name of jesus let their their peace turn to fear the peace they have they are proud and and, and making you miserable let their peace to turn to fear let them feel let them feel god fall upon them and let them be terrified in the name of jesus christ according to your word that says the lord will fight for me and i shall hold my peace therefore oh lord fight for me and let me begin to experience my peace in even even if as from now in the name of jesus even as from now when the enemy is planning that you cannot have any peace he is fighting you because remember he who is in you is greater than who is in the world therefore because he is because you are, you are your father our father our god is greater than the enemy so that's why you say god since you are greater than than the world fight for me and let me have peace let me have peace i will not mourn i will not cry i will not i will not be sick i will not be sad because of the enemy the enemy will not put me in the in the sick bed in the sick in the sick in the sick bed in the name of jesus the enemy will not take away my job the enemy will not take away my money wherever enemy is doing against me i take authority and dominion over him in the name of jesus you pray i take dominion i take the authority against you in the name of jesus i turn i turn your prosperity to poverty in the name of jesus you cannot touch my finances i turn my finances to be my blessings and i turn your presence to be zero in jesus name that's how you pray you want the enemy we are attacking using uh spiritual warfare uh, uh atomic bomb prayer this morning so uh, according to to what the, according to the to your word god himself he says that he will fight for you so i give my god permission to fight for me that's why we are not supposed to fight with the bread with the blood and flesh we are not vessels against blood and flesh we are not allowed to fight against blood and flesh so don't worry when when the enemy is racing against you when he is is doing evil and wicked wicked way don't worry about them fix them let their peace turn to darkness let their joy turn to, to mourn let their, their, their joy turn to be sad in the name of jesus they will be miserable and and miserable they will never be happy in the name of jesus and then you look at the book of deuteronomy the book of deuteronomy 20 verse 1 the book of deuteronomy 20 verse 1 the bible says 
my Lord, show me, show me my enemies. Hallelujah.